So what's up, everybody? I hope everyone is having a great and a beautiful and a blessed day. But I just got a question. So, y'all ready to get right or get left? Because if y'all don't get right, y'all going to be left. So let's get into this message. Let's talk about adversity. What is adversity? Adversity is our overall struggles in life, our hardships, our difficulties, the things that a lot of people use to make excuses as to why they can't get to where they want to be. A lot of people stay stagnant, stay stuck in life because of the excuses that they continue to tell themselves about what it is that they're going through and, and make it as an excuse to, again, why they can't get far in life. And we all, listen, we all need to use adversity to our advantage. Just think about the people who are successful now. I'm not talking about people who have, you know, was spoon fed, who had it easy. No, I'm not talking about these people. I'm talking about the people who went through some things. The people who didn't let their struggles, their poverty, their lack, you know, define them and keep them in the life that they were currently at. What they did was they turned that pain into power and let it fuel their they fire for where they wanted to go, for who they wanted to be. So that's what we have to do. That's what we have to do. So some of y'all need to write that down. Turn that pain into power and let it fuel your fire, baby. Because what that does is you tell yourself something totally different. Although you are currently going through the things that you are going through, the difficulties that you are going through, you don't let that stop you. You don't let that keep you continuously making excuses. What you do is... You, you see the positive in whatever it is because there's always positive in the negative situations that we're going through because it's called a test, y'all. God uses us. A lot of the things that we go through a lot are from God because he wants to test us to see what we're going to do with where he has placed us, right? So that's what's about, it's about being blooming where you're planted. You have to know that there's something in the dirt, right? That's going to fertilize you for where you're going. You have to know that the, the things that you are going through currently, the hard times that you are currently going through is not going to last always. Why? Because troubles do not last always. But you have to say, okay, I'm not going to let this stop me. I'm gonna not going to let my current situation, I'm not going to let what society tells me about what I'm going through, what the statistics say about where I am and where I'm going to end up being. I'm not going to let that stop me. I'm going to do otherwise. I'm going to prove everybody wrong. And I'm not going to forever be the underdog. So what happens is when you decide to use that adversity to your advantage and then you become on top and then you become successful whenever you beat all odds, then people will be like, man, Look at them. Look at what they came through. You will have your testimonies to tell people about where you were versus where you are. And, and, and another thing that you, will get, that you will be able to do, you will be able to not only tell your testimony, give your story, but you will also be able to help others that are where you used to be. You will be able to be more of an inspiration to people that they'll be like, dang, I know if she can do it, if he can do it, I can do it. That's what adversity does. It gives more people inspiration to know that there is hope, to know that, again, if they went through all of that and still made it, why can't I do the same thing? It's possible. It, it gives you a different perspective. It gives you hope and possibility to know again that no matter what you're going through in life, no matter where you are in life, if you just push past all that, if you again turn that pain into that power and let it fuel your fire with that burning desire that's inside of you to do whatever it is that you want to do in life and you take action, anything becomes possible. And then you too will be able to give your story, give your testimony, and help others as well. And let me tell y'all another thing. Blessed are those who are persecuted because of their righteousness. That's what God says. And what does that mean? Do y'all know that mm, for those who are called, 
for God's people, for God's children. Blessed are those who are persecuted. What does that mean? It means that when you are called and when you're continuously doing the right thing and when there's just an anointing on your life and when there's just something so great about you, people are going to hate you. Persecution is going to come. People are going to just overall look and just feel some type of way about you because I said it in a video before because your light intimidates their darkness. Their darkness cannot handle your light. They can't stand you. It's nothing it's nothing wrong with you, about you. It's just something very right about you. So don't start to feel some type of way when you start to get some type of hate or backlash because of, you know, your greatness, your testimony, the way that you're out here helping people. A lot of people can't stand that. But just know that you got to keep on going and keep on pushing and keep on doing what God has called you to do. And know that, listen, it's something that's continuously great that's going to continue to come out of that, come out of you. Because you're going to be the great change that this world needs. But you have to not live in that adversity, but let it be to your advantage so that you can get out here and do great things and continue to be successful. Because that's what we all ultimately want. We Whatever your version whatever your definition of success is we all want that no one really wants to live in poverty and lack or be stuck in their struggles but a lot of people just i feel like maybe don't know how to get from point a to point b you know they're just so used to maybe having the wrong people around them telling them negative things about their situation and that there never be nobody because of where they are or whatever the case may be but just know that you can don't let the naysayers tell you or stop you because you can do whatever it is that you put your mind to. Listen, you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. You just have to lean on God. And it all in life, I tell y'all plenty of times before, you have to lean on God. You have to know God's word. Because knowing God's word is going to help you. It's going to give you the fuel you need. It's going to, if you believe, if you believe what he tells you, you're going to do the things he tells you to do. But it's only if you get in that word and it's only if you believe yourself and it's only if you change your mind and know that all things are possible and know that you can do whatever it is that you want to do, no matter your situation. I promise you, you just got to have that faith to believe. So as always, y'all, be motivated and stay inspired.